In today's video, we are going to look into the encode command. And what this command uh, would do is it would convert the categorical string variable into a numerical variable and then it would assign the value labels by itself. So what I mean is, let's say we have this uh, data over here where we have the ID or serial code of an individual, their wage, their age, race and sex. And if I can quickly show you the data, uh, except for the wage and the ID variable, these rest of the variables are in string form. So this, uh, this isn't number, it is a string, right? They are, are uh, coded red. So what if I wanted to uh, run, uh, I wanted to regress wage on age. So, so what would happen, uh, sorry, uh, we would get an error of no observations. Um, and I know that if it is a categorical or factor variable, then we need to add this I dot, uh, which stands for a factor, uh, right? So even if, then I run the regression, I get, get this error that age, which is the independent variable, is a string variable and may not be used as a factor variable. So this I dot is used for factor variable, right? Or categorical variable. So what it is saying essentially is that these variables are in string form and you need to convert them into factor variable or numeric variable to be able to run the regression. And that is where the encode command comes in. So uh, uh, let me first uh, discuss with you what encode would do. Uh, let's just say we have this uh, gender variable where we have uh, female and male. Uh, it would uh, currently we we can see that there is a text right male or female. But what what it would do is it would generate a new variable. And it would assign a value of one or two to these values. And instead of just showing us the values, it would also show us these labels. And uh, uh, how do we do that? If we wanted to do that using the menu, we would click on data, create or change, and then click on other transformation, uh, variable transformation command. And here's what we are going to look at. The encode and it's the, the opposite of encode, which is decode, right? But I would rather do that using uh, command. So we start with the command name, then the variable that we want to convert from categorical to numerical. Then we uh, write an option of generate after comma, and then the name of the new variable that we want to generate. So I usually write encode uh, before the variable name, so that way I can easily you know, uh, get to know that it is an encoded variable. So if I run the regression, we get, uh, sorry, the command, we, we get to see that there is a new variable that is encode age. And if we look at the data view, we can see that although this was a text, now it looks similar, but at the back end, there are numbers. So 15-19 category, the age category from 15 years to 19 years is being coded as one. Uh, the next category is uh, 20 to 24, which is coded as 2. Then we have 25 to 29, which is coded as 3. And then the last one is coded as 4. But uh, these, the, the, the uh, you know, we, we can also see the value labels, right, over here. So now if we, uh, let me show this to you using the list command, list age and code in row 1 to 10. So we get to see that they look exactly similar, but let's just remove the labels from this one. So I will use the no label option with the list command. The rest of the command stays the same. And now we would see that if we remove the label, those 15 to 19 or 30 to 34, the text string that it was previously have now been converted into the labels, right? So they aren't the actual value that is there in the cell, but the labels, right? So now if we were to run the regress command, we regress the wage on the, uh, the new variable that we just encoded, and we get to see our regression and we get to see our coefficient for each category 
although we had four categories but the first category of 15 to 19 had been taken as base category if you are familiar with how the dummy um, regression would work okay uh, so that was the basics of uh, working with the encode command so let's dive deeper into it so let's just say we uh, we also have other two variables that we haven't encoded which is the race and the the sex variable what if we wanted to convert this sex variable uh, into its numeric part right we would obviously use encode the variable name we would generate a new variable let's call it gender and if we do that and if we look at the values uh, we see that female had been given a value of one and male had been given a value of uh, two right and all those values that were blank are now missing values but the issue is that when we want to perform dummy regression somehow we want to have you know zero and ones rather than one and two uh, so we would we would want to have one category to be uh, having a value of zero and the other category having a value of one so that means that we want our own uh, values for these labels so let's drop this newly created variable so we can recreate it so first we define labels so uh, if, if you have seen my video on uh, questionnaires, entering the questionnaires, and there I have discussed in detail the, uh, the, the idea of value labels and how do we define them. So we are going to uh, define labels <clears throat> and let's call this label a sex label. This would be the name of these labels. We would have a value of zero for female and value of one for male. If we execute this command, nothing would happen, no new variable would be created or any results would be shown, but just a label would be defined. And if I were to show you from the variable manager, uh, you would see that there is uh, this, sorry, this, this one, the sex label that we just created. So previously, the gender label that was created would have a value of one for female and value of two for male. But this is the label that we just defined zero for female and one for male. And uh, <clears throat> you could have simply assigned these labels to, but rather we are going to use it in uh, the encode command. So now what we do is <clears throat> we, we use exactly the same command, but now we are going to use additional uh, option of label and uh, within the parenthesis we would write the label that we just defined so if we're, we were going to run this command we would see that now the uh, the female would have a value of zero and male would have a value of one okay so if you look at the 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 last variable which is the race variable we have encoded age and sex but we are left with with the race variable if you were to look at the race variable let's tabulate the categories right tab race we see that there are three categories black hispanic and white so uh we want value of one to be assigned to black and value of two to assigned to white but somehow we forgot to define the value label for hispanic and we are using the encode command now we are going to re encode race generate a new variable called encode race underscore race and we are going to assign this label that we just created but somehow we have forgot hispanic right to be labeled <clears throat> but we have used the no extend command and what this no extend command would do <clears throat> let me first execute it it would throw an error whenever 
uh, it would not encode the variable or generate the new variable <clears throat> or execute this command if value label is not defined. So in this case, the Hispanic value label was not defined using this, this command. So using the no extend, it would not extend, not execute the, error, uh, the, the command and throw an error. Okay, so what is the benefit of using this encode command? One was the benefit that we just discussed that we need it for regression purposes. But there is another benefit to it and that is it reduces the size of the data. What I mean is that uh, if you look at, uh, you know, the size of this data, it is 1.22 uh, kilobytes. That is because String takes more space as compared to uh, numeric data. And uh, in some cases, you have the name of the individual or the sector name or the company name or some other text data that is repeated uh, oftenly in your data set. So, for example, you have uh, stock prices, daily stock prices of different firms uh, for different years, right? For number of years so a specific firm abc would be repeated multiple times and it's would its name would be repeated multiple times and it would you know uh, take a lot of space uh, to store that that data file and encode helps us in reducing that data file so let's first uh, encode the race variable because i have encoded uh, the previous two variables the age and the sex variable, but we didn't encoded the race variable. And now just drop the, you know, the text part of these three variables and just keep the, uh, um, the encoded part. So drop age, race and sex and keep an eye over the size. <clears throat> you can see it is 1.37 kilobytes. And if we drop that, we would have 585 kilobytes of uh, data. So that's uh, in this, even in this data set, it is a reduction of around 50% of the size. <clears throat> One more thing regarding encode is that do not use this encode variable uh, when you want to convert a variable that contains numbers, but is just stored as string in the in stata for that there is another command which is called dstring and i do have a video on that i had given that uh, link of the video in the description so instead of using encode you should use the dstring command for that purposes lastly we would look at the decode the opposite of encode it converts the variable back to the string so decode this variable back to a string age variable so we get it back okay <clears throat> so let's just drop for a second this new variable to so that i can demonstrate this option in decode which is maximum length uh, maximum length means that what length of the text do you want to retain so if i say maximum length of two that would mean that this new variable, string age variable, would just have two uh, characters from the start of the text or the encoded variable. So it would just remain, uh, you know, retain the first two characters. So that was uh, about encode. Uh, do subscribe to this channel, uh, hit the bell icon, and if you want to download this do file or the data file, the link is given in the description.